Welcome everyone, I'm Jim Dempsey. Glad to have you for another episode of Jim and Java. We're glad to have you here for this latest episode of Jim and Java, part of the Development Effectiveness Strategies channel. Our goal and objective is to help your organization raise more money to fulfill your mission. And if that is important to you and you want to be part of this little community, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell to be notified of the next broadcasts. And we're glad to have you. Let's get on to our first question. Our first question today is from Sally in Greer, South Carolina. Sally asks, what's the difference between development and fundraising? Well, Sally, I'm glad you asked that question. I enjoy it quite a bit. By definition, development is the process of creating and enhancing relationships with potential or current donors to ensure current and future funding whereas fundraising is only about income generation. You take a major step forward towards ensuring future income. With fundraising, income generation focuses in on the now with no provision, no assurance, and little or any potential for the future. Development expert Hank Lewis uses a great term. He says, fundraising is like a Band-Aid. Development is closer to a cure. Well. Oftentimes, we hear the two terms interchangeably, and that could be nothing further from the truth. I've also mentioned in the past that there is a difference between transactional relationships and transformational relationships. Transactional relationships are much like we have with an ATM. An ATM is never important until we need money. And when we need money, we find that ATM. And when we don't need it any longer, we don't see an ATM. And our partners start to feel that way. That's really what fundraising is. It's about getting inside someone's pocketbook, purse, or wallet. Whereas development is transformational. It's about finding out what it is that interests people. What makes them weep and pound the table? What is it about a cause or a mission that excites those people? And especially, what is it about our organization that, that especially excites people? And then find out what can we do to marry the mission and the vision that we have with the mission and vision and passion that they have? And is there a marriage there? Can the two work together so that goals are accomplished. That is what development is about. Development is about building long-term relationships, meeting someone, immersing them in the efforts, the strategies, the programs, the opportunities, and then moving someone to a higher level of involvement and a higher level of giving. It doesn't start with the money. It focuses in on finding out what do we like together? What are those things that we have in common and we agree on? And then how can we, by listening, and again, when you're meeting with a prospective donor or even current donor, make sure you listen more than speak. Find out what is it that interests them and what is it about our organization that would help them meet the goals that they have to help fulfill the passion that they have. That is what development is about and what we hope to accomplish in our overall strategy with working with people. It doesn't get down to how can I get money, how can I extract money from them. It really comes down to what is their heart and passion and how can that passion and their resources, and that's not just finances, that's labor influence and expertise as well, it's that life acrostic. How can those all work together? Well, again, Sally, thank you for that question. Our next question comes from Bill in Schaumburg, Illinois. And Bill asks, how long should someone remain on a mailing list before being removed if they haven't given in a long time? Well, Bill, that's a great question. I get it very often because I can't tell you how many organizations have people on their mailing list 
from three, five, seven, 10, 15 years, and they haven't given a gift at all to the organization. You may have gone to a speaking engagement or they heard you speak an event or an activity and they put their name on a list and have been receiving mail from you for years and have never given a gift. Or possibly they gave you a gift immediately but then haven't given since then. Well, I really would say that you shouldn't be sending to someone who hasn't given a gift in more than three years. Now again, I qualify that because there are a lot of organizations, ours included, that have very effective lapsed donor programs where they will go out. We will reach out to people through letter, through phone calls, and sometimes even meetings trying to recapture those people to get a next gift and to get a recent gift. And those methods and strategies can be very effective. Sometimes we see as much as 10, 15, 20, or 30 percent of our lapsed donors come back again as a result of a strategy. But on the whole, I would say don't let someone be on your list more than three years without a gift. I generally send them off to what I affectionately refer to as purgatory. We move them to a category where you may not, since it's so valuable to attain a name, you don't want to just delete them, but you also don't want to take the money that you are are getting from people who love you and spend it on people who really don't care that much about you. And that's really what we're talking about is good stewardship, taking the money from those people who do love you and spending it on people who don't care that much about you. So anyway, that's how I would respond to that question. Don't let it go off too long without removing those individuals from your list and being effective in that. Well, that ends our broadcast of Jim and Java, thank you again for being part of this broadcast. As always, I really hope that you'll submit your questions again on Twitter and at devfstrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java or send us an email at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I hope that you will subscribe and be part of our little community that we have developed here. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of future broadcasts. So as we conclude, I hope you increase your income and reach the goal of being fully funded. Thank you.